Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, home of the freshest music and the most famous interviews you have ever, ever heard. Right now, what up to the East Coast? Always showing love to Fresh and Famous. We got my boy Shawnee C right here to talk about his new joint, Rock the Future. Now, that's a heavy joint right there. Like, I'm really feeling it. So, we got to talk to him and let him know what's going on. Shawnee C, what's the deal, B? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jay? What's going on, man? Yo, man, I got to get that East Coast swagger right, man. I got to start talking like I'm from the East, you know? Yeah, pocket kind of how the yard, man. You know? <laughs> word, B, word, word, word. What's going on, though, man? How was your uh, Grammy Grammy weekend? It was good, man. I was just, I spent home, I spent some time home relaxing, just, uh, you know, thinking about some projects that I got to do with... Mm-hmm. I just got a lot of stuff coming up, and I'm just trying to get myself prepared for it, you know? Nice, 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 man. I'm digging that Rock the Future, too, man. That's like a heavy, heavy, you know, pop sound and rap, hip-hop, all that in between, man. It's really dope. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do, man. I spent several, you know, I spent years in this game just, you know, looking at the charts and, and seeing what songs are popping off and just, you know, just really trying to, you know, Put music out there according to what's selling on the charts. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there that are making music, and sometimes they don't realize that it. it's great music, but it's kind of dated. So you kind of want to just put the best material you can out there, but you want to put something out there that's hot, that's going on with what's up out there. And there's, right. you know, there's a big electronic movement right now, and you know, almost a lot of hip hop songs, even R and B songs, are incorporating that kind of beat and that kind of tone to it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you just you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create something that's marketable and something that the people will like, you know? Word up, son. Word up, son. Word, word. Now, Shawnee C, man, how did you become the coolest dude on the east side? Like, you hit me up. You let me know what's going on. You told me a little bit about you. I was like, yo, I'm feeling the kid. I got to get him on Fresh and Famous. How did you become such a cool dude, a cool individual out there in the east coast? I just tried it, man. I just, you know, I remember when I first showed up into the scene and I was at the, you know, the Boston Music Awards or, you know, the Hard Rock Cafe and, and you know, I, you know, I have family that's in the business. So it's like, you know, you walk around and you see these people and, and um, you know, at that point I was a little overzealous, but I, I believed in myself right from, you know, right from the get-go. And I just, I learned, I just... I just sat back and listened. I've seen what people did. I've seen what they did. I've seen who they talked with. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and then just recently, um, you know, I, I met up with a TMV. They're an entertainment company. And, oh, nice. uh, you know, they, they had a show. They had a showcase in our, my old city out in Brockton and the City of Champions. And, you know, they had Bad Boy in the house. They had Universal in the house. They, they, had, they, had, they had people. They had Dave Lightly from Violator there. They had a ton of people there, and, you know, I did my thing, and then, you know, I had my press kit all ready, and I handed it to the right person, uh, June Willis from All Around Music Group out of New York City. Mm-hmm. And he, he works closely with Bad Boy. He's got his own distribution deal himself for Universal Music, so he's doing big things, and, you know, the important part of this for any artist that do show up to, uh, you know, a showcase is that mm-hmm. it's not just going up there and wowing the people, it's about building relationships. Yeah, definitely. Talking to the people and... and just don't think you're gonna show up to a place and get a record deal because it don't work like that. You, yeah. just, you gotta put your time in. You gotta continue to make music. You gotta, you know, get in that inner circle and, and put yourself around the people that are successful because you'll feed off them. And then you know, you know, get a hard artist that you want your tracks and you can start making some noise. You know. Definitely, definitely. So now that you now that you got your feet wet, you know, in this whole industry business or whatnot. Where do you think your music is going to take you? Do you do you plan on expanding? Do you plan on, you know, like, what do you plan on doing uh, with your music? I mean, I just really feel like it's taking me to the next level. I mean, I'm working with this kid out uh, in Houston, and his name's Jay Metro. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kid's awesome. Uh, he's got a song, Shades of Grey, right now. It was number one on the Billboard R&B charts. He's got a couple other songs. So right now I'm working on a remix with him. We're confident that will chart as well. And, uh, you know, we're just taking it from here with, you know, he's building relationships, I'm building relationships. I got, um, you know, Ronnie Matthews from Starfleet Record Pool, big shout out to him. He's definitely doing his thing. You know, he's got, you know, thousands upon thousands of DJs worldwide that, you know, he's established such a great record pool. 
and he's behind my movement. He's he's really helping me to get to where I'm at right now. So I just continue to grind and never give up the dream, you know? Word, 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 son, word. You already heard it, Jay over here acting like he's from the East Coast, West to East, man, showing so much love. Shiny C right here. Word up, son, man. I'm dead ass serious that I'm going to be in the East Coast, you know, showing you guys love, hosting events, all of that in the future, man. We definitely got to link up and work together in this in this industry, man, because it's, it's really small. Like, you know this too, like the industry is super duper small, so we might end up running into each other pretty soon, man. Yeah, it's, it's true, man. My dude, man, I definitely want to thank you so much for being on tonight's radio show. I mean, like, how is it out there, man? Because I know, I know, in the East Coast, it's pretty heavy. It's a storm. How's the weather out there where you're at? It was crazy, man. You know, it dropped like two and a half feet of snow on us the other day. Jeez. So we, you know, I woke up and had opened my door and started shoveling right away just to get out. Jeez. I uh, kept waking up in the middle of the night, moving my cows. My wife's car back and forth. She's got a four wheel drive, so I kept moving it back and forth. So I kind of had a small path to start off in the morning so I could get her off to work because she's in there. So I had to make sure she got out to work. So yeah, it's been crazy. The weather's been crazy, but you know what? It's just that's part of life. You just deal with it. And yeah. The Northeast for you, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely, man. Well, I hope you guys stay warm out there. What up to the East Coast for showing fresh and famous so much love? Let's spin this Rock the Future joint, man, because it's super hot. And I want the fans to listen to it and check it out right here on Fresh and Famous Radio. Yeah, you can uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rappin Shawnee C. I do want to give a shout out to everybody out there listening to this music because I'm in this show because I know for myself and I know for Jail as well. It's all about you fans. It's all about you spreading the word and, and just getting the message that I have in my music. It's just really about that. It's about you guys, the fans. I uh, all around music group. Like I said, June Willis did his thing he put me in the place where I'm at mm-hmm. I appreciate everything he's doing for me and uh and then if you're out in New York City we're gonna be at Club Arena in Queens on February 21st I'm opening 